Mrs. Coulson, do you have a moment? I know I have made some missteps since I arrived. My mother taught me a great deal about being mistress of a household, but I'm not sure either of us ever imagined a house as grand as this one. Mm. So very grateful for your guidance, Mrs. Coulson. The truth is, I fear the Duke might not be entirely at ease here at Cliveton, which is, of course, no reflection of you or any of your staff. No, I, I quite understand. You do? Master Simon, it, I beg your pardon, his grace, but his childhood was not always easy. After the death of my late mistress, the Duke lived almost exclusively in London. Do you mean to say that Simon grew up here on his own? Oh, we did our best to take care of him, to mind him as his mother would have wanted. Of course you did. Mm. The late Duke must have loved his wife very much, to have struggled so after her death. Was it not a happy marriage then? It was strained. He wanted an heir, she wanted a child. She kept trying long after the doctors warned her not to. Every month when her courses came, it broke my heart to see her. She was lucky to have you. Everyone talked as though it was her fault, but how could they know that? It's not always the woman who is barren. Sometimes it is the man's fault, of course. Oh, dear. I'm, I'm afraid I'm speaking out of turn. No, not at all, Mrs. Coulson. You were saying... Well, I said to the Duchess what my mother said to me. A womb cannot quicken without strong, healthy seed. And then, just as she was finally blessed with Master Simon, we lost her. <laughs>